Anywho, at least I got a really cute haircut out of it. I was giving, I'm still giving. Welcome friends. Welcome to the video you have all been waiting for. Sorry that I couldn't have gotten this up sooner. Y'all, literally, I had a freaking recording because I literally recorded it before because I went to Tennessee and then I recorded the video before I went to Tennessee. When I got back, I was going to edit and upload it. When I looked at the video, it had no footage. Or not, it didn't have no footage. It had no audio. So that really messed me up because I really could not, I did not have time to re-record and do all the stuff like, your girl has been all over the place what's new but neither here nor there we are going to be wrapping this up girl we're wrapping this up because we are in a whole new chapter of our lives and we have put this we have put this past us so as you guys remember in the last video i told you guys that that wasn't it the the christmas party wasn't it so what i want to tell you guys before i get started i ended up the day that i left like the last day that i worked at the salon i had made a video like as i left like that same day so what i'm going to do is in this video i'm going to give you guys kind of like what led up to this point and then i'm going to let the like video that I recorded now obviously because I have recorded that in real time versus now after all the things that happened it there's some details that I either repeat or that I was kind of vague and I didn't go into because now you guys know what happened so just keep that in mind I'm hoping that it kind of makes sense I have like an editing style that I kind of want to do I'm sorry I hate when people do this all the time but this jacket's like baggy but um yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to explain the moments that led up to me leaving and then the actual day that i have that video of me explaining why i left how i left and all that so this is gonna be like kind of two videos in one so just so you guys know so let's get into what happened after the christmas party i had told y'all that i had spoke to angelica and i let her know that i'm not going to be taking that measly ass braise and that i'm quitting so i told them that i would be quitting my last day would be december 31st that was my last day and that i would not be going into the new year with them angelica had told me she was like okay send me email me a letter of resignation and um tell Beyonce directly so the day came that Beyonce came to the salon and she was just there briefly like she wasn't working that day or she wasn't doing anything she was just there briefly and I had told her I had asked her I was like hey oh, no, no, no 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 I'm getting too ahead of myself the day that Angelica told I told Angelica I when I got off of work I messaged Beyonce through WhatsApp and I was like hey I would like to talk I don't know if Angelica spoke to you but I would like to talk to you directly if you could give me a call when you have a chance she messaged me back and she was like um I'll call you in a little bit or something like that never called me all right whatever so after that that's when she was in the salon she had came in and I had told her, I was like, hey, I want to speak to you when you have a chance or whatever. So it was the end of the day, everybody was leaving, blah, blah, blah. And so we go into her office and I told her, mind you, before I even get to what I told her, I have been trying to be the most professional and end this relationship the most amic amicably, I cannot say this word, as possible because number one i just i've learned like i be burning bridges like i will set that shit on fire because 
I I will die about my respect. Like, don't disrespect me. So, like, I am okay with burning bridges. And I felt like this has been something that I've been trying to not do. I'm not trying to be hot-headed anymore. I'm trying to grow as, an, as a person. I'm trying to grow as a woman, as an adult. Like, I'm trying not to navigate life the way I did when I was 19, you know? So I'm trying to keep this in mind. Like, I don't want to burn a bridge. I want to, like, at least keep a long-lasting relationship. Or, like, maybe not even a long-lasting one. But at least, like, you can't say that I did something to you. And I think that was, like, the biggest thing for me was, like, I was still fulfilling my duties. I didn't tell anybody that I was quitting. I wasn't talking shit about anything. I never did anything wrong because I'm like y'all are not going to be able to say that I did something to you like I just you know it didn't work out and you know we're just gonna you know bygones be bygones I'm gonna go my way you guys go yours wish you nothing but the best that was my mentality okay okay when we go into her office I was like hey Beyonce I don't know if Angelica talked to you or if you guys have been in communication but I just want to let you know that i you know after a lot of heavy consideration i'm just not gonna come back in the new year she already had an attitude by the second we went into that room and she sat down she already had an attitude and what was pissing me off was that like she so the desk there was like a little like table desk thing she was just wiping it she had like a little piece of out a little piece of paper and some alcohol and she was just like and I was, I said what I told y'all just now. And she was like, well, I mean, like, I try to get you to stay. You don't want to stay, like, then leave. And I'm just like, you have to be one of the, like, biggest bitches I've ever met in my life. Like, you have somebody who worked hard, who was willing to to put up with all this nonsense, who was trying to take your brand, your vision. I was trying to help you become richer. I was trying to help you expand. You become, you know, who you think you are. I was trying to help you. And you're going to look me dead in my face when I'm just trying to be, you know, woman enough to come to you and be like, yeah, um, after heavy consideration, I just don't think that this is working out for the both of us. And I'm just not going to be returning after the new year. Mind you, I'm giving you your two weeks. I'm not, you know, like causing drama. I'm not causing any kind of commotion. I'm doing this like very gracefully and you're gonna look me dead in my face while you're wiping the table down with alcohol talking about some well I tried like you know I tried and you I try to do everything that I can to get you to stay but you don't want to so I mean you can leave so mind you I like I said I was trying to be different I was not trying to burn a business relationship and things like that and then also to like the reason why I was so into that because I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna let this ruin my like Miami salon ventures. Like I'm not gonna let you because they do that. Like especially Beyonce. We had so many meetings, meetings where she would talk about her stylist and she would be like, I don't know who she thinks she is. She was my assistant before I let her come into my salon and get clients. Like if I tell the clients that are in her chair right now that I wanna do their hair, of course they're gonna leave her. And she's like, you know what? I think I'm gonna start doing that. This is something that she said, okay? By the way, and this is what I'm saying, like all this was happening throughout the time that I was being there, but all of this was happening towards the end where she's basically like trying actively instead of just being like an upfront person and being like you know what I don't want you working here anymore you need to leave no what her game plan was was to basically like steal her clients back or like show the the stylist like who she is the people that didn't bow down to her because there was one stylist she did not go to those meetings she would tell it straight up that she's not gonna go she did not stay for the influence event she would not care kiss this lady's ass and Beyonce took that as like who does she think she is she started as my assistant she will I she wouldn't be anybody if it wasn't for me and I'm just like who thinks this way like you're not a real person like who thinks 
like that like genuinely and she did she's like you know what i think once i start after this month what i'm gonna start doing is i'm gonna start reaching out to her clients and being like um I'll do your hair for free. Like, I'll do your hair for free the same day that she has clients with the other stylist. I'm going to do her hair just to show her, like, don't mess with me. And she even said verbatim, she said, I'm a very revengeful person. Like, I want my revenge. Like, you're a psychopath. And, like, for somebody, and that was a thing, too. Like, I felt like she was trying to throw shots, like, trying to say, like, she's a very, like, vengeful person to me so that I could get scared of her. <laughs> this? is not the problems you want i will tell you that today girl i'm not paying you no mind because number one you're gonna get revenge on what like what the fuck like you don't have anything that i want but second of all we could really go there ma'am like i'm actively trying to be a better person don't do that with me like <laughs> I can take it way back to the core because we can really like shake the table if you want to. So don't try to play that like, oh, I like revenge thing. I do too. I do too. And I don't feel guilty. I don't feel guilt. So hi, hello, welcome. I just remember that. And so like the whole reason why I'm saying all of that is because like not only did I like see the cycle that she was, but I was really trying to stay within like the Miami salon scene. So I didn't want word to get like if I try to get another job at another salon, I didn't want word to get back to them like, oh, yeah, she did this. She did that. The only thing that you could say is that I quit. You know what I mean? That was literally I think that was like the week before I was going to quit. That was like the Saturday before I was going to quit or something like that. So i went into the next week and this is where i'm gonna put in the clips of the day that i quit like so basically that was the weekend before the week led up to that my last week there she had already like i try to be like cool calm and collected with her she was already ridden me off because I didn't kiss her ass because I was not staying to, you know, be used and abused. She was already upset with me. I was no longer in her good graces. There was so many things. I still, and I'm going to keep saying this, even the, the week leading up to before I was going to leave, I was still fulfilling my duties as the assistant manager. I was still doing inventory, still looking at the orders, still picking up like all the stuff. And also, too, their, um, their washer and dryer was messed up. So even on one of those days, I took the towels, I took them to my house, I washed them, I dried them, and I brought them back because I didn't want to hear everybody's mouth. Because everybody always has something to say. Like, everybody always had something to say. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to end this. The, the way that I was thinking, honestly and truly, which I've come to find out, it's all just a waste of time. Like all just a waste of time the way that i was trying to go about this situation was like you know what she's gonna see that like wow i had a dedicated person because who else is gonna do all the things that i did for you i did not like when i tell you guys none of the stylists knew what was happening like nobody i didn't talk bad about beyonce i didn't talk about bad about angelica i did not talk bad about anyone so it's like you really don't have anything bad to say about me until the day came that I left. And that's going to be this clip. Y'all, y'all don't even understand. Like anger is like I'm so angry and I feel like angry is even an understatement. Like I am enraged. Like I am hot. And I can't even express myself how I want to because I'm going to tell you guys why and what happened. Whew. So I'm going to make a whole video. I don't know if this is going to be the end. I think I'm just going to make this like the ending to the saga of what my life has been for the past two months. And how... Um, crazy that has been so i think i'm just going to end this as like this is the finale okay 
I was going to make a video. I was going to record as I was leaving mid-shift. But I was very anxious. And I didn't want to look at my phone. And I also had to poop. so Because <laughs> I was so anxious. So I was like, you know what? Let me go home. Let me use the restroom. Let me change. And then I will talk to you guys and tell you guys what happened. So let me tell you guys what just happened today. Because... After all the videos that I'm going to make about what has led up to this point, this is just going to be like the icing on the cake. This is like crazy to me. I'm so upset. So after everything that I have told you guys that have ha that has happened with this job, okay, I had put in my final notice. You call it the two weeks, call it whatever you want kind of thing. So I had put in my two weeks notice. I spoke with the manager and I told her, I was like, hey, like this is gonna be my last day, da 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 da. Spoke with the owner. We're, we're already past this part, okay? So now we're at the part where this is my last week. So Sunday comes, I had messaged the manager and I was like, hey, what do you want to do for this week because like you know i have been the one to buy myself this entire time so this last like the last two weeks or whatever she was telling me i could come in at 12 i could come in at 2 finish the day yada 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 so i asked her this week i asked her on monday or sunday i was like what would you like to do so she tells me this is on mon uh, on sunday she tells me that she has the flu her and her daughters have the flu so for this week like she can't come in actually she didn't even say she couldn't come in she just said that she has to see because she might be able to come in on thursday because she has the flu so i said me out of the kindness of my heart i said you know what don't even worry about it i'll just finish this week strong like i need the money so i was just like let me just go ahead i'll work from nine to six every day okay tuesday through saturday i would work nine to six okay okay mind you nine to six is like the good stuff right because there are some days i worked at a salon so there are some times where like it goes over 6 p.m all right cool went to work tuesday wednesday thursday thursday night comes i had a little bit of a freak accident so let me explain what happened i was laying and i'm living with my parents right now they have like those beds that are like that you get for like rooms for less or whatever but they're the ones that have like the 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 mattress but the bed is like drawers you know what i mean so like it's high because you could put two it has two things of drawers throughout the entire bed okay that's the kind of bed that they have and they have like a bed frame with like little nooks in it so you could put i'll just put in the picture of the bed so you guys can see the bed that i was in all right cool i was laying down in the bed chilling minding my business when all of a sudden it snaps so i'm like let's say like this is my this is the the headboard right i'm like laying down in the bed mind you i'm by myself laying in the bed it snaps like this is the headboard this is the mattress part snaps like this so i go flying into that thing mind you the way that i was laying down like my body like this is where my head was my body fell like this i slam my head into the wall because that's where it was my head slams into the wall i fall on the floor from the height of the bed on my back just like purely like on wood on concrete because like you know the houses in florida like i don't even know if i'm doing like a good explanation of how i fell and how bad it actually was so essentially like i fell like this into that like hole my head hit the freaking wall my, i fell on my back and i fell like this so like all of like my head took it my neck 
my back like it was a thing okay like it is a thing so obviously when that stuff happens to you it hurts the time that it happened but it hurts 10 times worse the next day so as soon as it happened it was 10 p.m i messaged my manager i said hey i'm sorry to message you so late but i just kind of had a freak accident where i really hurt my back my head my back and my neck and i'm not going to be able to work tomorrow she responded at 12 something in the morning two hours after i had sent her that message letting her know like hey i just got hurt i'm not going to be able to come in she messages me at 12 in the morning basically saying like okay well let's just see if you can like take the phone calls and you can do this over the and i'm like okay rewind girl what's not computing i just said like i'm injured i'm hurt my head like i'm gonna have to go to the hospital like i'm gonna have to do something like and to be quite frank with you like none of this is my problem right now like i literally and that is why I cannot like express myself the way that I want to. And I can't like move the way that I want to because I'm in pain. I am in pain. I got hurt. Like what in the world? So I tell her that like in more words than one, like, no, like not only am I not coming into work tomorrow, but like also I'm not going to help in any capacity. Like I am injured. I am hurt. Like what part of that is not computing? so i tell her that and mind you i have learned and i don't know if this just comes with age or what but i just learned like talk to people like i'm not asking you if i can go home or like stay home or like i'm telling you like i'm not asking you hey is it okay if i stay home and don't go to work tomorrow i'm telling you i am not coming into work tomorrow like i have a legitimate excuse this was obviously not planned. So like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not coming into work tomorrow. All right, cool. So it was kind of like a little annoying yesterday, but I kept saying like, I will come in on Saturday. Like I will come on Saturday. And this whole time, mind you, things, so many things have happened that I'm just like, I don't even feel like I owe y'all the courtesy of like even coming in on Saturday, like, or working till Saturday, just by the way that I've been treated, what's been said, everything that has gone down and has transpired. I don't feel like I even owe you Saturday, to be honest. But I'm the type of person, like, if I say something, like, I, I really like to, you know, be a good person, be a good employee, be a good worker, you know? And this whole time, I've been trying to, like, be as professional and, and as amicably, amicably as possible. Like, I have really been trying my hardest to just, you know, really finish. I don't like the owner i like really look at the the manager completely differently now but i was like you know what i'm still trying to end this on like a professional way you know i was really trying to like end everything nicely so that's another reason why i was like let me finish saturday i know friday was crazy but let me finish saturday I go into work, everybody, my mom, my dad, my sisters, my my husband, everybody's telling me, don't go to work tomorrow, don't go to work tomorrow, just tell them that you can't come in, tell them you can't come in. And I'm just like, no, like, I don't want to be that person. Like, I know that yesterday was crazy. Still, I don't owe this job anything. I don't owe any of these people anything. And still, I'm just like, no, I don't want to do that. Like, I'm still trying to be a good person. So I go into work and it's already just a hot mess like everybody was already just like pissing me off because i'm just like the job was nuts okay but i'm already like oh my goodness now i'm trying to just like fight through the day like i'm trying to just do as much as i possibly can but i'm very limited and mind you guys I'm still in a lot of pain. My head hurts really, really bad. My neck hurts really, really bad. My back 
hurts. So like, I can't just sit at a computer all day. I can't just stand up. Like I was in no way able to like be at work, to be real. I shouldn't have gone. And I guess like that was the worst, like the my mistake. Like I shouldn't even have gone to be real. But I wanted to be like a good person. I wanted, you know, whatever. So I'm starting to be in a lot of pain. My vision is getting blurry. And I'm just like, you know what? I cannot do this. Like I cannot stay the entire day. So I messaged my manager and I was like, hey, is there any way that like you could finish out the remainder of the day like I am in a lot of pain I can't do this like I'm in a lot of pain and mind you like any medicine that I'm taking is just making me sleepy so it's not like I can just take medicine and then like go to sleep you know so I'm telling her I was like hey like I'm really sorry but like I really I'm in a lot of pain is there any way that you can make it like you could you know finish out the remainder of the day for me the same person that was supposed to be helping me this entire time during this transition that the receptionist is gone who i've told her i said that everything's gonna be put on me and that's the part that's like really annoying because like i told her prior to i was like everything's gonna be put on me watch like everything since we don't have a receptionist it's gonna be put on me watch she's like oh i can't come in because she still has the flu her kids still have the flu blah 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 so i was just like okay well can i show the cleaning girl like can i show her how to check out clients while i'm there i'm like can i show her how to check out clients to see like if she can just manage while like i'm gone or out or whatever she goes no don't like she doesn't want her to be in charge of checking people out that she can't have people she can't check people out so then she tells me she was like just take your medicine and ask them to help you ma'am don't know like you mind you this is at 12 i got to work at nine i was there this is at like 12 o'clock in the afternoon you want me to stay another five more hours to be like like oh just like thug it out basically like thug it out like okay no so i'm still trying to be like you know I'm not gonna stay the entire day, but like, what would you like me to do? Like, I can show somebody how to do it. I can tell somebody like I can do something, but like staying is not the option. So yeah, so I call her or actually I told her, I was like, hey, I'm sorry. Cause she told me when she told me to take my medicine and just like have them help me. I was just like, what the fuck? No, like that's not, that's not what's happening here. So I messaged her. I was like, look, manager, I'm really sorry, but like I'm in a lot of pain. My head really hurts. My vision is blurry. If I couldn't, like I'm letting you know because it's to the point, like if I felt like I could stay, I wouldn't be texting you right now because I'm also like very self-sufficient, very, you know, whatever. So it's just like, obviously, like I can't do this. If I'm telling you, like if I'm asking you to come relieve me for the rest of the day, I'm telling you like I physically cannot stay. No response. Does not, like does not message me back. Okay. I call her, doesn't answer my phone call, okay? I'm in a lot of pain. I like really like, I'm not thinking straight. I can't even see freaking straight. So I call her again, just not picking up the phone. So I'm talking to the cleaning girl and she's just like, oh, leave. Like, she was like, leave. I don't even know why you're still here. Like, it's your last day. Let them figure it out, blah, blah, blah. And I'm literally telling the like cleaning girl, I was like, no, I don't want to like, I don't want to like leave like that. I don't want to. I am getting upset because I feel like nobody's like responding to me. And I just obviously that's so rude and disrespectful like i don't get it and the thing is like i know my manager has her phone because i've been around her like she always has her phone mind you her husband calls her like a million times in one day like i know you have your phone girl like what are you doing and then also too like she turned her red receipts off on whatsapp because everything's through whatsapp in that freaking salon 
So it's like, I know that you, like, I know that you see that I messaged you and that I'm calling you. So I'm like, I'm going to call her one more time. If she doesn't answer, I'm just going to leave. Because at this point, like, you don't care about me. You don't care about this job. You don't care about nothing. So why should I, since it's just an option just to ignore people. All right, cool. I call her doesn't answer i was like man and mind you this is not within like a span of five minutes i waited 45 minutes like chilling at the salon just trying to figure out what to do i'm just like oh my god i call her she's not answering i wait like 10 minutes 15 minutes i called her again no answer so it's just like girl be so serious and then two like this is also like your job like this is just because you're working from home right now, like, doesn't mean that you just get to be MIA, which is something that she does, like, all the time. So I'm just like, okay, so you don't care. Why the hell should I? So hell yeah, I grabbed my stuff. I was like, man, whatever. I told the cleaning girl, I was like, because she was the only one that knew that I was leaving, like, today was going to be my last day. I had told her this morning. And I had told the cleaning girl, I was like, girl, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm not going to stay. Like, this is crazy. You're legitimately, like, after everything that I have put, all the things that I have put towards the job, and I'm still trying to end on, like, a professional note. I'm still trying to be, like, cordial and whatnot. And you're literally going to ignore me. All right, bet. So I left. I left the salon. I walked out. I grabbed my stuff. I left. And then one of the stylists starts hitting me up on whatsapp i didn't answer then the owner all of a sudden she starts blowing up whatsapp too talking about what's going on in the salon samantha did you leave what's going on how's it going da, da, da. you didn't care about the salon any other day of the week but now you want to care so then the man the owner was like putting in the whatsapp so then all of a sudden the manager has time to m message me not even call message me back talking about okay just make sure that yes i didn't even open the message y'all i deleted whatsapp off my phone deleted whatsapp off my phone and i dipped and i have been so anxious to even look at my phone like i deleted whatsapp so i feel like a majority of those messages and notifications are gone like i'm not gonna receive them but i just don't even want to deal with it like i am so upset because you guys have no clue like well i guess you guys will because i'm gonna tell you guys everything but like I just cannot, I cannot imagine, like, like, these jobs truly don't care about you. These people truly don't care about you. And it's like, you try, you try to be professional. You try to be hardworking. You try, and that's one of the things that the cleaning girl had told me. She was just like, everybody's leaving because they reward the people that do bad. And they, like punish the people that do well and that's true what's crazy is there was two receptionists before i got there there was one that was a guy and there was another one that was a girl all they did was talk bad about the girl like saying that she has a really strong care um character that she likes to get into with people and it really wasn't she just wasn't taking nobody's shit really if we're really gonna be honest about it there was nothing wrong with her personality there was nothing wrong with how she carried herself she was very cool very charismatic very fun she just wasn't gonna put up with your shit like she's just one of those people like when clients would be like oh um i'm here to see so and so she's like actually your appointment was at 12 o'clock like they don't have time for you like that that's how she was she was just very blunt but she was a very good worker very hard blah 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 whatever she was a good person the other boy i never met him because he had gotten fired before i even started because he was stealing stealing money stealing products stealing just stealing from the salon and when i tell you the way that they used to praise this man talk so great about him and basically be like oh it's a shame that he was a thief like oh it was such a shame that you know like it ended the way that it is the one that stole 
money and i'm not talking about like little bits here and there a significant man was paying for his groceries doing all this stuff with the company card like with the salon card this is the same person that you're talking about like oh i just loved him he was the best like i really like it was hard for me to let him go but then the girl that wasn't stealing was on time worked hard did what she was supposed to do now all of a sudden it's oh yeah it's just she was oh, she was a lot like she was nice and everything but she was just too much she was just this it was, so I can only imagine what they're saying about me, bitch. Fuck them. Anywho, at least I got a really cute haircut out of it. I was giving, I'm still giving. Um, but yeah, y'all, I just, I cannot believe that this was my day today. I'm so angry, I'm really angry. And I already know that I'm gonna have to fight for my last freaking paycheck. Like. That's another reason why I was like, I don't want to walk out. But then, like, I have no choice but to walk out. Because y'all have me so messed up. Like, telling me to take medicine and have them help me. When the whole reason I'm, like, having to be up and around is because they refuse to do their job. Like, the assistant, right? I go, hey, so-and-so's client is here. She's in the bathroom. When she gets out of the bathroom, if you can grab her and get her prepared for so and so that was the simplest task because i was trying to like lay down because there's like a little room or whatever i was trying to like lay down in that room because i'm in pain you know and i tell her that so that i could go lay down wow you know everything was that was the only client that was there like everything was gonna be fine so i could just go lay down i tell her that cool the lady gets out of the freaking bathroom guess what the client's at the client's at the front desk i didn't know that she was at the front desk because i was laying down and so the some other hairdresser was over there and she was just like oh do you need help or something and she was like yeah they kind of just like left me here like i don't know the girl left and she told me that like they were gonna take care of me or something like that i get up I go to the client and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, you're going to be right over here. The assistant's on her phone, bro. Like, just in the back on her phone. I'm like, and these are the people that you want to talk about. Oh, take your medicine and let them help you. This is what you want me to work with. Like, I can't even say something as simple as, hey, she's in the bathroom. When she gets out the bathroom, can you attend to her? Without having to literally say, hey, here is the client that I told you. She just got out of the bathroom. Can you attend to her? Like, and like the manager knows that this is what I'm working with. So it's just like, what the hell? What would you like me to do in this situation? Like, no, I'm not staying for this shit. Like, Y'all, I'm pissed. I'm so mad. And, like, the thing was, like, I actually really liked the manager. And I'm like, I don't know if, if, even if I liked her for real. Because I'm like, did I like her? Or did I like the impression of her that I had? I don't really know my thoughts on her right now. Well, it's kind of dead. It's all dead, pretty much. Like, I can't ever go back there. And I can't ever talk to them. So is what it is and that's the thing like i was really trying not to burn a bridge like that i was actively trying to like water the bridge that was being burned on their side like i was just trying to like you know let shit you know i don't know man i just i didn't want it to end this way and it's just like y'all left me no choice bye fuck y'all like i don't care i'm out <sighs> anywho y'all on to the next on to the next so all that to say this job right because i left that day and i walked out mid-shift or whatever angelica never called me back and i just find it to be so wild bro like because before, before I officially told her that I was going to quit, she would always tell me that, like, don't stay here. Like, I don't want you to stay here if you don't feel like this is right for you. Like, I will always respect your decision. She, me and her have the same freaking birthday, dude. Like, 
we were like i really looked at her like you know big sis like i was really feeling her like wow you could be a mentor she was so cool y'all like and i really looked at her like that and before all before i told her that i was gonna quit she was just like you know we have to go on a double day we gotta do this we gotta do that we were always talking like anytime we would go i loved going out to lunch and dinners with her because when we were not talking about work related shit like it was such good vibe she was so cool and just to see that like really like you're gonna turn on me over this when she is also like using and abusing you too and you acknowledge it and i'm like this is why i just cannot i cannot win with people because no like as cool as i think you were and as like fun and like as close as i thought we could have been like girl i look at you hella funny because why are you like she's still there all that all that now now this is gonna be a rant y'all this is gonna be a rant and i am gonna do a whole another video on how this has really like affected me like this has really really affected me mentally like it was a lot going on so i just find it funny because after i quit right after all that I accidentally FaceTimed her. <laughs> I accidentally FaceTimed her and she had texted me and she was like, hey, you called. And I was like, my bad, it was an accident. And then like, just to know that like you are still there because I re-downloaded WhatsApp because I had to for my new job. Spoiler, spoiler alert. Yes, I have a new job because one monkey don't stop the show like one monkey don't stop the circus like you guys are never like i'm above you like i best believe i was gonna keep it pushing y'all are not the first and you're not the last like get out of here but yes i do have a new job but anyway i redownload i redownloaded whatsapp and it was like weeks later like it was probably like that happened december 31st and then like January 13th is when I like got back on WhatsApp. She forgot that I was in a specific group message with the social media people. And she had sent a message and I got it because I was in there or whatever. And I'm just like, wow, girl, like you're still there. You're still being the manager. Like after everything that you saw, that I saw, that I went through, like, and you really chose the side of the oppressor. Like that's wild, okay like okay that's why i'm like i really i really thought you were cool but you're not and guess what y'all guess what four stylists actually not even style it was four different people yeah it was four stylists i think and the cleaning girl was quitting anyway too everybody's leaving and it's just like you have multiple people from multiple different positions all of them are leaving and you think like you truly in your head believe it's because we are all jealous of you you don't have a life that i want to live girl you don't like you have to convince yourself you have the life that you want to live like girl bye girl bye like oh my goodness y'all let me oh my goodness the nerve of you to think that people are jealous of you like <sighs> but yeah y'all that was <sighs> that was the saga that and you know what i'm gonna make a whole different video i'll probably record it right now actually about how this has like affected me mentally and everything like that and just like the issues that i've had because of that job during and afterwards but boy oh boy do i tell you like these like people are truly insane Beyonce girl you can sit here and you can wear the cutest clothes you can do your hair so cute you get all the the botox and the fillers and the blah 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 because y'all don't even know i'm sparing this woman because number one i never signed a contract never ever 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 signed a contract so i didn't sign no nda i didn't sign the contract to work for you they never got it out of me for this exact reason because i will not be silenced but like it's just wild i haven't even said a lot of things 
that happen. And I'm talking about interpersonal relation, interpersonal relationships. I can talk about all the things that happened with the stylists, how I was treated by them, all of this stuff. I I've left so many details out just for the sake of confidentiality, and at the same time, just for the sake of time, it didn't add to the story. It didn't I? I kind of just left it at the meat and potatoes, just you know because what was the point? But. <sighs> That is crazy. That is truly crazy. But anywho, that was it, y'all. I kind of feel like this was anticlimactic because, like, I just left. I just walked out. <laughs> that was the end of that. Like, they really had me fucked up. And <sighs> on to bigger and better thank you guys so much for staying with me along this journey i really 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 appreciate all of y'all's love and support during this time it was a roller coaster of emotions but i really appreciate you guys giving me a lot of encouraging words and stuff like that and um yeah that's pretty much the end to this i hope you guys enjoyed my trauma <laughs> And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.